Hello everyone and welcome back to No One Survived. I'm your host, 2005 Guy Rote. Okay, so we're currently in my um, sort of single player world, even though it's actually a multiplayer world. Um, I'm currently doing quite a large build on this world. And I didn't know it, but there was just recently an update uh, this morning, <laughs> a couple of hours ago. Uh, so my computer updated it uh, without me even hitting the update button on it. Um, and uh, it seems that uh, there have been a couple of nice little updates here and there. Uh, basically, I, uh, I made a, a couple of suggestions uh, a couple of days ago. And I didn't know that some of the suggestions may have been in the works already. Um, I did a suggestion and straight, uh, let's say within the first five seconds, there were, was one or two X's on the whole voting suggestion thing. Uh, so I thought maybe one of the, one or two of the moderators decided that they didn't like it. But it looks like the dev and I, uh, were on, uh, the same wavelength with this one. Um, basically, normally you're just doing like that and you're trying to shoot and the aim is way off to the left. I, I don't know if that's been fixed yet. I, I hope it has. Uh, but if you just click on uh, uh, right click now instead of holding right click, you actually go into a first person view. It's much better much better than uh, what it was before. Because let's face it, when you're doing it that way, he's not really uh, aiming down sight, and he's always, always off. Um, also, if you just shoot uh, straight ahead without uh, aiming, so you're doing the hip fire thing, then you get this weird animation, so I'm not sure if that's changed at all. But if you just click, right click, that is much better. I like that. I'm not going to let it. I, I like that. Um, okay, so that's definitely much better. So you've got the, um, let's say, the best of both views. You've got the, uh, the view where you can see everything around you. And then you've got the end view. And then you can be pinpoint accuracy. Now the question is, is it really going to be pinpoint accuracy or is it still going to be off to the left somewhere? <laughs> Hopefully not to the left, but uh, we'll uh, play around with that later on. Uh, looks like the character needs some carbs. I can't remember if I was at that point where I had some food in here. Um, uh, um, food. Carbs. Carbs. Actually, it's both now. So, have the book food as well. But well, actually, I could have had those. I might. So, I've been uh, building a uh, fairly large, large structure. Uh, I've only got through the first portion of it. Uh, in the multiplayer that's currently on the Angus' server, uh, I've Basically, sort of copied this building, but I didn't have the the, width, uh, the length of it. Uh, but I think I've made a much better improvement for the ceiling. So at the moment, the ceiling is just the one high here. Uh, and then it goes up, and then you've got two staircases that will go to the uh, rooms there. Um, which also allows you to have this just as a straight through. However, for additional storage down below, and here, even though the, these are the sections are primarily going to be, let's say, workshop areas, unless somebody decides that they don't want that area to be the workshop and want the workshop up here, then so be it. Um, basically, this is going to be, at some point, a multiplayer game. Uh, that is, if anyone decides to join it. Um, but uh, I wanted to create a little, let's say, a little town of my own. And uh, that's basically what this uh, is going to be. So this one, let's say, is going to be the carpenter. I've already got a couple of the uh, storage bits down below. That one over there is going to be electrical. Uh, sorry, that one over there is going to be um, uh, smelting. So that one deals with all the ores. 
and then we'll have another one for electrical uh, or engineering. Uh, we'll have another one for tailoring. We'll, we'll have one for medical. We'll have um, one for uh, cooking, uh, so a huge kitchen uh, area, food, stuff like that. Uh, there will be a greenhouse on that corner one because I had to cut that one short because uh, it doesn't really fit all the way over there. Uh, at some point I will get the uh, the proper um, video out for you guys as to uh, what this is going to be. Uh, how I started and uh, uh, eventually when it's finished uh, and ready for uh, multiplayer use, uh, we'll have that up as well. But uh, getting back to the update, um, so we've had a couple of things uh, come up. The main reason why I went, wait a minute, there's been an update is because I just recently uh, got an, uh, an achievement and that was for running a, a speed of 120 or something like that. Um, so looking at the update change log, I'm going to attempt to read this out. So please forgive me if I stutter or get a couple words wrong or insert words that don't exist on the change log. Um, but there's been a couple of things that have been added, a couple of things that have been optimized in the quite a few book uh, and a couple of bug fixes. So, going through the list, the things that are new <laughs> are the achievements. We've now got achievements in the game. Uh, I didn't even know that that was going to be an achievement, just waiting there, doing nothing. Um, so, uh, added achievement system, some achievements can only be activated when using the local machine. Uh, when the local machine is a host, so I'm currently hosting, so that's probably one of those. Um, added sound effects for first person weapon switching, so that's basically um, we're uh, switching into views. Uh, that's the that's probably the sound there. Uh, third person mode can uh, sorry in PvP mode, the map can now be used, so apparently in PvP mode nobody could access the map. Um, associated FOV adjustments. Uh, the first person FOV can now be adjusted in the settings interface. Added user, uh, usage permission restrictions for functional buildings. Um, I think that's uh, for if you um, if you want uh, people to enter or exit the building, uh, you can now set those uh, parameters. Uh, under optimized, oh, sorry, my dialogue. Sorry about that. Uh, under optimizations, um, first person bow and arrow shooting effects added vibration. Oh, I could have done without that one. Uh, <laughs> the recoil. Or, of first person handguns um, so we'll have to check the handguns later on as well uh, for sorry for excessive first person lens shake uh, when using certain workbench workbenches lens shake when using certain workbenches okay um not sure about that one. I did have a, a weird bug with that yesterday where I uh, got into a workstation and there was some kind of weird vibration going on. Um, adjusted the angle of view shaking amplitude during first person ammunition, uh, ammunition changing, jumping, or squatting. So if we change the view. Okay, I didn't really see much there. Just angle view shaking. I'm not saying any shaking as such. There's some, I do say some shaking there. Any movement I really see is the, the gun just going like that the whole time. Um, that's the only time I actually see some shaking going on, it's when we jump up. Um, okay. 
Let us put the gun away and try that. Oop, and try that again. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Hmm. Okay. Um. I guess that. I guess that the angle view. That's not the one that we just had. Uh, optimize the adjustment uh, of special effects for shaking down, for, for, for cracking down on the free smoke. Optimize the adjustment of special effects for cracking down on tree smoke. Tree smoked? <laughs> uh, well, again, we'll have to check that one out later on when we're building. Okay, uh, I'll just have that all tab quickly. Okay, next one is the bug fixes. Uh, repairing the death uh, of tamed animals. No death, an an uh, sorry. No death animation will will be played on the client. Fix the issue of the, the ports disappearing. That was again quite annoying, actually. The um, uh, the uh, cooking ports would suddenly just disappear. Uh, also, uh, if you had food and water in the cooking port, uh, it went out a little way, ways out, came, came back. The the, uh, the cooking port would uh, be uh, would be gone. Had that recently. Um, so it's nice if uh, if that bug's been fixed. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Um, for ballistic uh, the, the deviation under mechanical aim, aiming. So I'm not sure what that one is for ballistic. Uh, Deviation under mechanical aiming. Not completely sure what that one is, but we'll probably find out later on. Uh, fixed ballistic offset in client mode. Again, I'm not sure what he's meaning with the ballistic. Uh, when preparing and uh, filling combustion material. material sorry. My jaw's locking, it's starting to annoy me a little bit. When repairing and filling combustion uh, materials, regardless of the remaining combustion time, all materials will be consumed. I think it's uh, something like uh, adding the fuel uh, to the car, uh, the fuel to the generator, the, fu uh, the fuel to the, um, the smithing table, stuff like that. It will just consume everything until it's uh, it's gone, which is pretty much what's currently happening. Unless that's uh, unless that was a bug, and uh, it's not happening anymore, but we'll find out later on as well. Um, let's see what else do we have. I lost all where I was. <laughs> uh, fix the inability to enter the military base gate. So apparently. Uh, there was a military base gate that couldn't be opened, caused by addition of first-person expansion of the character collision volume. Okay, I'm a little bit lost on that one. Somebody might be able to fill me in what that means. <laughs> uh, fixed, throw, uh, fixed throwing spear, no throwing animation will play when there is no physical strength. Okay. A fixed character rendering error when a client entered the car in the first person mode. Okay, I haven't seen that one because I kept entering in third person mode. Um, there was a, an issue with the spear where the spear would point backwards. I, I wonder if that one's been fixed. Um, but uh, I'm definitely going to give this one a thumbs up because it's definitely. Uh, quite a bit if uh, one person's doing all this by themselves. So um, do that, thumbs up on it. 
Okay, and uh, I will leave this little update video here for the moment. And uh, hopefully see you guys uh, once I've got uh, this little build finished. Uh, there is a couple other things that I, I want to add to here, including possible uh, possibility of a uh, water tower and uh, also, of course, quite a, diff quite a range of uh, methods of powering everything. Initially, I was thinking of a water tank behind each building, but that's not going to uh, fly with me. Um, not after what I uh, put in the suggestions. Um, I, I mentioned, because, uh, of course, what it is. And I would, would like to do a water tower, um, but I would also like to see a couple other things within the game. And if I can give a, let's say, a visual reference representation of what I uh, I would like to see in the game. Um, it could help with the builders out there. They might be able to build other things with it. Um, it might just be aesthetics. Uh, it, it might be something that uh, could just help everyone as well in the long run. Uh, it could also make it feel a little bit more, well, give everyone a little bit more in the way of options but with that said i'm going to leave you guys here for the moment if you've liked this little update video please leave a like if you didn't please let me know why in the comments below also if you're not subscribed already please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow and the little bell icon and select all to get notified when the next video or live stream goes up thank you all for watching and i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and we'll enjoy future videos to come. Thank you all for watching, and bye for now.